My name is Santa Montefiore. I live in London, here. This is my garden in Kensington. And I live with my husband, Simon Seabag Montefiore, and my two children, Lily, who is six, and Sasha, my son, who is four. I always wanted to write. I always did write. As a child, I wrote little books for children and friends of my parents, and then when I got to school, I started writing short stories for my girlfriends. And then a friend of my mother's once read one, and she was a writer and said, oh darling, you really should try and get something published. So I followed the formula and I wrote one. By return of post, it was sent back to me. Rejection, of course. And that was the start of a lot of rejections. And I think being a writer, you just have to swallow the rejections, put them in a bottom drawer and continue. I grew up in Hampshire in England, which is about an hour out of London, rolling countryside, living in a little village where you have the church and the town hall and the village shop with the eccentric characters that live there are all part of all my books. So everything that I've seen and heard and the people that I've met and talked to all go into a great big cauldron out of which I draw my characters and my plots. Well, the fascinating thing about using real people in your books is that if you write about them in a derogatory way, they never recognise themselves. Uh, I have put characters in my books as a compliment and then they do recognise themselves. I have a writing ritual that I do every day. It sets the right tone in the room for me to be creative. First of all, I turn on my music, and I light my scented candle. I turn off the telephone. I have my cup of tea and my biscuit. Peace and quiet. Children at school, husband at work, music on. No one can disturb me now, and I close the door to the outside world. Goodbye.